Hi, Scott Lackman from 4510 TV, here today with John Stevenson, the manager of Caboolture Squash and Fitness. Good morning, John. Morning, Scotty. How are you going? Very good, mate. Uh, now, we've come to the centre today um, pr pr pretty much to, to feature it uh, through our channel. Uh, the centre celebrating its 40th year in, in, uh, in operation here in Caboolture, and you've just undergone a recent refurbishment. Yeah, it's good. they've just spent, uh, just spent over $200,000 on the place and it's looking pretty smart at the moment. It's all fresh, a little bit still to go, but nearly, nearly there. It is looking very fresh, mate. Fresh paint job and uh, you've got the gym facility now open 24-7. Uh, some other facilities at the Squash and Fitness Centre that, that the public can enjoy. Um, tell us age groups, um, from little ones right up to masters. Yeah, anywhere from four, five, six years old up to... I think the oldest member we've got 72 or 73 or something, so, yeah. but there's people over 80 still playing squash. Yeah, it is one of those, um, one of those uh, games, one of those sports that, that any age can play, yeah. and, um, and I believe the junior ranks are, are, are the up-and-coming champions of the future. Yeah, well, we're trying to promote juniors pretty strongly here because that's the future of the sport, um, is the juniors, so we work pretty hard on trying to get juniors to play. Yeah. Now the centre's looking good, uh, lots of membership uh, coming through the doors and regular competitions you host inside. Um, while we're here today also is to feature you've got your 10th uh, tournament coming up. Explain a little bit about this tournament that's on the, uh, on the calendar for next month. Okay, this is the 10th year we've had this tournament. It's a PSA and WSA tournament which is a professional sporting bodies for squash worldwide. Uh, it's an international tournament. We had, I think last year, we had about 20 international players here from all around the world, even from places like you know, uh, England, Scotland, South Africa, everywhere, Cayman Islands, just Japan, Korea, China. They come from everywhere here and we generally, uh, we billet quite a lot of them around local people in the, in the area here who put people up while they're here. They're here for two tournaments. Uh, there's three tournaments actually in a row. Ours is the middle one. And uh, as I said, this is our 10th year and it just keeps getting bigger and bigger every year. And um, I'm sure some of the viewers just wouldn't have an idea that you're attracting international squash players right here in Caboolture for your tournaments. Um, now, what we're trying to achieve this year is uh, a concept of having a glass court uh, featured in the local shopping centre. Tell us a bit about that. Yeah, well, it's, uh, we've uh, been able to get hold of an all-glass court, which is all four walls are all glass. And um, with the help of the Morayfield Shopping Centre, we want to put it up in the atrium down there. Uh, the Morayfield Shopping Centre has 80,000 people a week going through there, so people will be able to witness squash like they've never ever seen it before. International level is totally different uh, to your normal Premier League even. It's, uh, it's a lot higher ranking, a lot faster, a lot quicker, a lot fitter, the guys and girls. But we're having to feature all most of the men's and women's matches on the court over a period of a week. Uh, so we've started the tournament a bit earlier, a couple of days earlier this week, so we can play more matches. Yeah. Um, now, that sort of uh, international exposure for squash players, um, the public, as you mentioned, in the shopping centre, 80,000 shoppers a week, um, to bring a tournament of that size together and to do it properly, uh, obviously we need some sponsorship. Yeah, we sure do, yeah. We do have some re regular sponsors of the tournament here, which uh, Richard and Wrench are one. <laughs> um, but there's, uh, there are regulars have been, have been supporting us every year for 10 years. Uh, Ray Jonkers from Martin Jonkers Motors, he's been the, uh, main, our main supporter the whole 10 years and the good guys. Yep. And Wide Bay Australia, they're our main uh, sponsors at this stage. We do have a couple of others that have come on board this year. But we're still running a little bit short because yep. uh, it does take a lot of money to put it up down there and we are still a little bit short of our goal to to do it properly. So talking about sponsors, John, uh, once again, um, Caboolture Sports Club, um, they're, they're a local uh, community club, uh, they're, they're on board helping you? Yes, once again this year they've helped us for the last few years now, they help us out and they, they support us with some uh, financial benefits as well and we try and reciprocate with membership down there. Yeah, a nice frosty cold one after the squash game, mate. So with that sort of uh, sponsorship, um, it can be at any level. Um, that, you know, there's different levels that people can obviously contact you um, uh, through this video and, and through your phone number, the website, um, and talk about some sponsorship packages that, that John can offer you. Uh, but that international flavour of, of squash players in Caboolture uh, being featured in the shopping centre, uh, that exposure to your brand, um, as we said, 80,000 shoppers a week, um, I think it's great value to be a sponsor of, of this international event here in Caboolture um, and, and just people seeing your brand is value in itself. Most definitely. Um, 
because what we're offering anybody, we are looking for somebody to give uh, naming rights to the tournament. So, and we're looking to do it as an ongoing thing, not just a one-off thing. We want it to go for, you know, several years. If somebody wants to take up naming rights for three years or five years or whatever, that's fine by us because that's what we'd like to do. Because as our tournament gets bigger and bigger. But some of the advertising if for people who haven't seen an all-glass court, but you can actually, on the front wall of the all-glass court, normally the naming rights sponsor will have a sign across the inside of the glass, which takes up the whole top area of the glass. Yeah. Uh, and we, we'll be hanging banners and there'll be things there. And we're going to be taking names and addresses off everybody that walks through a shopping centre. So, yeah, And the promotion after the event yeah. uh, for a naming rights sponsor um, they can have advertising around our, our site, our, our centre, for, yeah, which is all part of the package, yep. and they'll get featured for the next 12 months in every tournament that we have. And we have three to four tournaments every year. Yep. One major tournament, we have a junior tournament, and we also have a Masters tournament, which is also one of the biggest tournaments in Queensland. Yep. Uh, John, you're doing great things for the sport of squash, and particularly here in Caboolture, you, you've brought the centre up to, uh, up to a, a, a world-class standard. Um, to get these international players here, I'd encourage uh, anyone uh, that wants to get your business exposed uh, to, to this international traffic, um, get in touch with John. Uh, phone number? Uh, 5495 1874. And um, you've also got a website now, uh, kabulchasquash.com. We might go down and have a quick hit with one of our Korean players that are, that are billeted here at the moment. Uh, what's his name? His name's Sun Young Kim. Sun Young Kim, and where would he rank in the, in the world? Um, off the I think I've handed about 240. Okay, 240th uh, ranked in the world for squash. Um, I'm going to jump down on the court and have a quick hit with him, and uh, we'll see how we go. Thanks, John. Um, great to talk to you. Thanks, John and um, get behind Caboolture Squash, an international tournament coming to Caboolture. Um, we do need some sponsors and sing out to John if you can help.